Hmm. One could almost believe that you're trying to avoid me, Weasley. I'm not. I'm just studying for my... For my... Uh, for your what? Your nudes. <laughs> Come on, you just finished your owls. You can't begin to study for your nudes when you haven't even finished your fifth year. That would be pretty hardcore, even for Ravenclaw. What, like you... Like your buddies aren't the most hardworking bunch of the castle. Vicky, come on, talk to me. What's wrong? I don't want you to leave. It's the end of term, silly. You're leaving with me. Well, I have to come back without you, though. We have all of summer before that. And then there's the winter's break before you even know it. It won't be the same without you. Studying together... I miss that. Planning squad meetings together. Watching you stuff your dumb face with toast every breakfast. No, I don't stuff my face. Sneaking into... Hidden corridors and dark broom closets together. There's going to be plenty of dark corners to sneak into, don't worry, Weasley. Come on, I'll, I'll visit you in Hogsmeade whenever I can and whenever you're allowed to. And, and I'll send you howlers every day and I probably even flew here. From You'll send me what? Love letters, you know, sweet, sweet whispers of nothing. You better write to me. <laughs> Of course I'm going to write to you, silly. What else am I going to do when I have a boring desk job at a ministry? Ugh. Oh, I'm sorry. I've completely forgot about your job interviews. It's fine. Don't apologize. It's been really nice to have something else to talk about, you know, with squad. <sighs> you can't only focus on your nudes, you know? And you better remember that for your seventh year. Mm. No matter... No matter what Hermione tells you. Besides... Squad actually gave me some, you know, inspiration of what I want to do in the future. How so? What, are you going to apply for more boring desk jobs at the Ministry? I thought about what we talked about during our last meeting before Easter, mm -hmm. and Hermione may or may not have given me an interview at the Department for Interspecies Relations. But she knows people at the Ministry. Yeah, besides, you know, the actual Minister of Magic. Uh, she used to work there before she became a teacher here at Hogwarts, before she took on the role of Transfiguration teacher. Hmm. Anyway, we talked about Squad and... <laughs> she has become so much more supportive now that I'm finished with my newts. <laughs> Go figure. Yeah, I wonder why. Typical Hermione. <sighs> so, she told me all about working with her. Well, actually fighting for the guidelines on house elves welfare and she made it sound quite exciting you know not as boring as I thought it could be <laughs> okay so what particular part of the department of inter species relations right yeah. the interspecies yeah what what part of the department are you interested in I wouldn't mind working with the Werewolf Support Service. Really? Well, it's something I really believe in. And it would give me so much experience working with, you know, everything from lawmaking to policies to raising money for the department and all that jazz. So that we, perhaps in the future, could expand the squad outside of Hogwarts. That's a wonderful idea, Teddy. Thanks. Speaking of squad, how did your last official end of the term meeting giving you no notions that we have collected blah, 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 with my conical go? Um, well, she does agree that, that teachers and staff need more knowledge. Mm -hmm. We just can't agree on exactly what knowledge that would be. Mm. It's not like we have a standardized teacher's program or any teacher's program, to be honest. Yeah. We gave them a book. Easy peasy. What more do they want? I don't think so, but... 
school politics, I don't know. Apparently there are parts, or if it was just too long, I don't understand it entirely, so... Now I have to spend my whole summer holiday summarizing the key points in a pamphlet. Your whole summer holiday? My whole summer holiday, I'm exaggerating. Still, things are changing. For example, I saw Flipwick on my way up here, and he was on his way to work with some kind of anti-peeping charm or something for the... Yeah, it was for the, for the loo on the second floor. An anti-peeping charm? Mm-hmm. I can't imagine Myrtle's gonna be too happy about that. Yeah, pervy ghost. Hmm. <sighs> Hogwarts first gender-neutral loo. Yeah. Who would have thought a year ago? It suits you, this. <sighs> Today it does. Well, who knows? Tomorrow it might not. Hmm. I know I shouldn't assume based on looks, but... If you need me to call you something else based, like, when you feel different, I could do that. Because I don't feel different. I'm just being myself and it doesn't matter what I look like, right? That's the point. Yes, but you do express yourself differently and people are going to make assumptions about you, about us, based on what you look like. And is that a problem for you? Oh, no, 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 no. Yes, maybe. I don't know. Okay, Vicky. Tell me. What's going on? It's nothing bad, so please don't take this the wrong way. <laughs> okay. Mm. But depending on what you look like, mm -hmm. people are going to perceive me differently as well. And I just think that's something I maybe need to be prepared for. What are you saying? I don't... What I'm saying is, can I really consider myself as being straight when, one, that is not how other people are going to perceive me, and two, person I'm in love with is not a boy. Isn't that the whole definition of heterosexual? Sort of? I guess, but you don't have to mind what other people think, and I don't think you have to define, you know, your identity based on a relationship. No, listen, you get that's not what I'm saying. I'm... I'm saying if I have the capacity of being in love with someone who's not a boy, then I'm not really straight, am I? I'm trying to come out to you, Teddy, okay? <laughs> okay, A and I'm not questioning you or anything, it's just that I'm trying to understand because you were very certain of the fact that you being straight didn't change depending on how I feel. So, what changed? I guess I did. Identity is fluid. That is something we've learned this year and keep trying to teach others. <sighs> so, with all the, with all this changing happening right now, how do you feel about it? I think change is good. Mm -hmm. Staying the same is unnatural, not to mention boring. Also, Regina has her girlfriend now and she seems very happy with the situation. Can't help but being a little bit curious. Well, really now. Well, 
who's to say what kind of change we might experience in the future. <laughs> Speaking of new things, have you heard the latest Hogwarts gossip? What, that Slughorn's retiring? Yes, of course I have. It's a complete secret. <laughs> I don't even think they tried to keep the lid on this one. Well, Harry doesn't seem to have a clue. When has Harry not knowing something been... He's not the most observant, is he? Oh, true. <sighs> Come. How about we take one final stroll by the lake together? I bet there's that one last bully that I can still give detention to before we have to go to the train. You, you're not even bearing your head boy badge anymore. You handed it in, remember? Ah, oh, Vicky, you know what they say. Once a head boy, always a head boy. Is that what they say? Well, they will. Hi, Lupin, Weasley. Have a great summer. <laughs> you too, man. I'll see you in September, pal. And my name is... Did anyone? Anyone? No? 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 no. <laughs>